ओके नाउ वी वर्क ऑन मल्टीपल चाइल्ड प्रोसेस इन वन क्लास वी कैन क्रिएट दिस प्रोग्राम यूजिंग ऑफ नेबर इंटरफेस और यूजिंग ऑफ थर्ड क्लास ओके आई गो विथ रनेबल इंटरफेस ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई क्रिएट वन चाइल्ड क्लास ओके द चाइल्ड क्लास इज अवर नॉर्मल क्लास ओके ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई इम्प्लीमेंट विथ रनेबल इंटरफेस आई इम्प्लीमेंट अनइम्प्लीमेंट मैथड्स यूर रन मैथड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्रिएट थ्री रेफरेंस ओके आई ऑल्सो यूज द स्ट्रिंग प्रोसेस नहीं Okay. Now I create one constructor with one parameter. Okay. I start so initialize thread with this reference. Initialization. Okay. D dot start. Okay. I want to start thread process. Okay. I also pass. Yeah, okay. I also pass process name into the instance variable. Here, three child process. Child one. Display. One to ten. Child two. Display. One to fifty. This one, okay. And every second. Okay. This is the three process. Okay. This three process work in this one method. Okay. So I put one drawing edge here because we are. We will be using the header slip method in our example. Okay. <coughs> First of all, I create one if condition. Okay. The process dot compare to okay. child one. Bracket. Okay. We have to check all the processes. Process one, process two, and process three. Okay. And what is the our process what? In process one, okay, we have to display one to ten. Check this bit. I is equal to one. I is equal to ten. I plus plus. Okay. Okay. Process name. The 
value of this is the process one point now what is the work for process one point in this plane one two fifty okay and what is the process one two five okay so this is a our three multi process in one program okay now how to handle this run method from our main class okay so i have to create one main class first of all i give name thread file to my main class okay first of all i import Constructor objects. So, <coughs> child object one is equal to new child. I give the name. I can give any name. Child one. Okay. Here. This three constructor okay. call this value to the child class in a constructor. Okay. In this line create a three. In this line pass the name process name into the process name, and this is a start of the third <coughs> all the three process. This line go to the run method and that time three process working together okay in this program. Check the condition and display the output. Let's see what is the output of this program. Child two three one three two one three two one two three one. Okay. Then we say third process is completed here. Okay. Now one process is completed here, and last the two processes work only. In this output, like we say that child three. Okay. Child three. Child three. Child three, and here in the end of child three. Okay. So we can see that the all three processes work into the other. It's called multitasking, or multi processing. Okay. Then after some times we can find that the process one is completed. Okay. And now in the end the process two is completed. Okay. This is a very simple example. You can also change the time of process. Okay. Currently we give the one mill, uh, one certain time to every process you can manage time like if you want to create a clock you have to create a three process okay one process is changed every second second process change in every 60 second and third process change every 300 and 600 seconds okay? so you can create a clock okay